Hey everyone, it's Zach. So today I want to break down how to spend your first real estate commission. And so we get so excited when we get that first deal pending and we start seeing all the different things we can do. Maybe I can book a trip to Italy or I can buy a new car, but hold on, let's pump the brakes and let's actually break down what we should be doing with that first real estate commission. So full disclaimer, if you finally have your first deal pending, do not spend any money based on what you think you're going to make. Do not spend a single dime until that money actually hits your account. The property's closed. You've been paid your commission. So that's first things first. Now we're going to actually break down what to do with this $12,000. So this is assuming we've sold a $400,000 house and we're making a 3% commission. So that's how I get this $12,000. So let's break it down. So first deal, $12,000. And here's why I said, don't go booking a vacation or buying a car or spending money you don't actually have until this closes because this money can go away very quickly. So I'm gonna pull my little cheat sheet and I'm gonna break it down. So if you are on some sort of brokerage split, whatever company you're with, there's so many out there, 70, 30, 80, 20, 90, 10, my first company of 70, 30, and then there's 6% franchise fee. So let's go, let's go with that example, but just keep it simple, 70, 30. So before this money, this money never will fully hit your account because the brokerage takes their money first, faster than, than the IRS, faster than anything else they will get their cut first. So this would be $3,600. That leaves you with $8,400 net. So this is actually what you're gonna see. However, we need to set aside money from this. So what I recommend with your first deal, set aside the next 12 months of operating costs for your real estate business. And so the bare minimum should be your realtor association, about 550 bucks annually, our MLS is $45 a month and any sort of office fees. So a lot of brokerages also have an office fee. So I'm going to budget about hundred bucks a month for that. And then the MLS 45 a month annualized and the realtor association. So let's just say $2,500. This is MLS. This is realtor. And office. And some states require errors and emissions insurance. So same thing, I'm gonna go ahead and set aside for my next year's policy. So that's $250. So that leaves you with $5,650. Now of this, I always recommend at least setting aside 20% of your net right here, this 8,400, not the 12, because you didn't actually get that full 12, but this 8,400 after your brokerage splits, setting aside at least 20%. Can you go higher? You can. Could you go lower? You could, but talk to a tax professional because I would much rather you set aside too much money, you buy all your taxes, and then you have this lump sum of money that you can put back into your business or investments. And that's kind of your tax refund at the end of the year. So let's prepare versus owe the IRS money after we've been operating a real estate business. So 20% is 840 tax leaves you with 3,000 100, nope, $3,970. Now of this money, again, this is where this money can go very quickly. Of this money, I recommend setting aside 10% of this towards marketing. We want future business. We want to continue to grow our business. We don't want to stay stagnant. We don't want to go down. We want to grow our business. So 10% of this towards marketing. That could be postcards, mailers. It could be an email weekly tool. It could be maybe you paid for photography for your listing. Maybe you had to pay for a sign, a lockbox. So set aside 10% towards marketing. That leaves you with $3,130. Now, another way to continue to advance yourself, not only in real estate, but professionally, financially, personally, I recommend paying yourself first, investing in yourself first. So you could set aside, for example, $500. If it's your first month, you can set aside that and put it like in a Roth IRA. You could get a money market account, just savings, different index funds, invest in your future, invest in yourself. This is building a cushion so you can be well off financially. So that leaves you finally with $2,630. Now of this, I would start paying your bills, your rent, your mortgage, your food, whatever else you have, car payments, all that comes from this. So that's why it builds a lot of urgency for myself when I think I'm making a $12,000 check and uh-oh, I'm only at 2,630, that gives me motivation to go out there and find my next deal. And so when you get to your second deal, that's where it does start to get a little bit better. So let's go up here. 
Second deal, $12,000. Again, if you're on that 70-30 split, they're going to take $3,600, leaving you with $8,400. Tax is going to be, again, 20%. Now, a good CPA should be able to get your tax burden lower. You're writing off your mileage. You're recording all your business expenses, everything to help you save this money so you don't have to spend it all when tax season comes around. So that leaves you with $6,720. Again, 10% for marketing. Maybe pay for photography, drone. Uh, maybe you want to send out mailers to the, to the neighborhood. Get this up. Marketing. So that leaves you with $5,880. So now our business is starting to become more profitable. And we've already set aside the first year worth of payments for the realtor dues, MLS fees, office fees. So that way we can fully operate our business to the highest capacity it's capable of. And so if you look back at this first deal right here, and this is where we are trying to help agents have the best chance of success. If you look at this list of everything that is an expense in your real estate career, what's the largest one on this list? What's the largest one? The real estate brokerage, $3,600. It's more than your MLS, your realtor, your office dues, your tax, your marketing, investing in yourself. The brokerage is making more than your net pay down here at 3130. The brokerage is making more. We believe here at Zach Taylor Real Estate, your real estate brokerage should not be your largest expense. This is where we want to set up agents for success because instead of $2,630, you can tack on another $3,600. If we go over here to do the numbers, let's look at just these first two deals alone. So at Zach Taylor Real Estate, we can show you how to earn 100% commission every single deal. I know there's a lot of companies out there that maybe claim, hey, we're 100%, but then they have this fee, this fee, this fee, this fee, and it's a few percentage points. We truly can show you how to earn 100% commission, and off two deals alone, it'd be $24 thousand dollars of net income because we don't have a brokerage split we don't have a franchise fee versus abc realty one two three realty whoever you're with eighty four hundred dollars off the first deal eighty four hundred dollars off the second deal sixteen thousand eight hundred total that's a difference of seven thousand two hundred dollars off two deals if you want to add in our transaction fee you want to pay for it so the client doesn't have to it'd be seven thousand two dollars of difference that's almost an extra deal just off the first two. So you can imagine when agents are starting to build their careers and do four, five, six deals, how this can quickly multiply this number. So that's where we want to give agents the tools they actually use, the support they actually want, and the income they actually deserve. So if you want to break down the math in your real estate business, if you want to learn how you can build a successful career, reach out below. I'm going to put the website link down below, schedule time. It'll be with me personally, and we'll see how we can take your real estate business to the next level. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.